Hi, I'm going to show you a really quick tip to use a little bit less CPU resources. Uh, there are two things that usually happen with your computer. Uh, there's your RAM and there's your CPU. The more RAM you have, the less your CPU has to work. Um, what we want to do in this case is free up some RAM so our CPU doesn't have to work as hard. So what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your task manager and you can bring that up by pressing control alternate delete and once you're in the Windows task manager you need to go to the process tab and under the process tab you will see a list of processes now you need to click the memory tab here to put the uh, processes in order of memory use now I have a couple processes running. I have a, a video game running in the background which is a Steam and I have the, the pro program that's recording this and here's Skype. Now Skype doesn't always need to be running in the background and it's quite resource heavy. So I see that Skype is running. Now you can go ahead and stop that now if you want by just clicking in process. Now once we see that Skype is eating up a bunch of memory I want you to go down to the start tab and type in services dot msc and hit enter this is going to bring us up to the windows service menu and we're going to take a look at the skype processes that are running in the background and how they're loading uh, and hope we can cut down on some of our cpu usage so i'm going to scroll down to skype and here we are now there are two Skype processes actually running and one that you definitely don't need is Skype Updater. So let's take a look at the properties of that. And as you see the startup is automatic so that means Skype is constantly using your CPU and your RAM to look for updates. Now you don't need that you can update uh, it manually if you like. So you just go down to manual and then you're just going to hit OK. This is an, and this will, won't allow Skype to load automatically. Well, one element of Skype. You can take off the whole process if you want. You need to go through the list of processes that are eating up your CPU and your memory usage if you want to free up your CPU for other processes. I hope that's a uh, easy tip for you guys to follow. If you need more tips on speeding up your CPU, you can visit delete-computer-history.com. I'll put a couple links in the bottom for other tricks to get your CPU running a little bit faster, like CPU affinity and things like that. I hope that helps.